Welcome to Lecture Online, and here we're going to do an example where you might pick the so-called wrong first point to try and find one of the roots of your equation using Newton's method. So here we have an equation we've seen before, y equals x squared minus 4x, it's simply a parabola. Notice that it has a root at x equals 0 and a root at x equals 4. In the previous example, we found the root x equals 4. But what if you by accident happen to pick a point, if you didn't know what the graph looked like, you may say, well, let me pick my first point, x sub 1 equals 2. Notice that it is at the vertex of your parabola. And if you find the slope of that vertex, you find that the slope of, that, of, that gra of the graph at that point will be 0. And of course, that means that the slope will never point towards your root. It will point away from the root. And so you may find something very strange. And let me show you what happens when you do that. So again, Newton's method says that the next point, x sub 2, is equal to the first point that you picked minus the function evaluated at your first point divided by the derivative of your function evaluated at the first point. So let's try that with this particular example. So therefore, you're going to say that x sub 2 is going to be 2 minus the function evaluated at that point. So here we have our function, so we have f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x, and sure enough, in this case, y and f of x is really the same thing. It, y is the function evaluated at x. And so if we evaluate that for x equals 2, we get 2 squared minus 4 times 2, which is equal to 4 minus 8, which is a minus 4. So the f of x uh, sub 1, or the function evaluated x sub 1, I should say, is a minus 4 divided by, now we take the derivative and evaluate it at that same point. So the derivative of the function, let's write it over here, f prime of x is going to be equal to, uh, that would be 2x minus 4. And now we evaluate it at x equals 2, so f prime of x equals, oop, I want to evaluate it, of uh, x equals to 2 is equal to 2 times 2 minus 4, which is equal to 0. And so we plug that in, and all of a sudden we realize, oh, wait a minute, that's the denominator we're dividing by 0. That would be undefined. So what we get here is this is equal to 2 plus 4 over 0. Since this is undefined, we cannot find the next point. Now what we should realize there is, oh, that is a point where the slope is 0. That must be at a maximum or a minimum value of the function or a local max or local minute, it doesn't have to be an absolute max, doesn't matter. It's simply a point where the curve is such that the slope at that point is zero. And if we happen to pick a point, our first guess point at that location, you will not find the next point. So what you're doing is, oh, it's not working. Let me try x1 equals 3 or x1 equals 1. Try that and then you find the next point. So for example, okay, so then try another point. Then let x sub 1 equals 1 and see what happens. Okay, so then x sub 2 equals 1 minus the function evaluated at uh, 1 divided by the derivative evaluated at 1. So let's try that now. So if I evaluate the function at 1, I get 1 minus 4 times 1, that's minus 3. So you get a 1 minus a minus 3 divided by the derivative evaluated at 1. And the derivative here is 2x minus 4. So 2 times 1 is 2. Minus 4 is minus 2. All right, so we get minus 2 like that. And so this would be equal to, well, that's a minus and a minus. That cancels out. So we end up at a 1 minus 3 over 2 or 1.5, which is equal to minus 0 0.5. So my next point would be minus 0 0.5, which would place you uh, somewhere between 0 and negative 1, so right at the halfway point, and then you would continue the process, and then you would very quickly zero in on this root right here, where x equals 0. So be careful when that happens, don't panic, don't think you did something wrong, it simply means hmm, you happen to pick a point that happens to be a maximum or a minimum, and therefore you just go to the left or the right at that point, and you try again.